Hey Leo, welcome to your tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're doing good. Let's dive right in today, Leo. Make sure to like and subscribe, of course. It really makes a difference and I appreciate it. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, South Node, however you connect with the sign of Leo, you are welcome here. Let's see what is your general energy, Leo. Leo. Okay, let's see what we have here. The Ace of Swords. Okay, a new beginning when it comes to communication, an idea, a perspective. It could also be some type of invitation showing up. So have you been looking for a new job, looking to communicate with someone, looking to share your ideas with someone? It could be so many things. Ace of Swords is great because it's cutting through the illusion. We're finally getting the answers that we were looking for about something. So again, whatever it is, is it, sorry, that you've been working for or manifesting, it seems like there's something new about to start. And let's see what this is all about. Okay, Leo. What is this Ace of Sword all about? What do we need to know about this Ace of Swords? Okay, let's start with two cards. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Reverse and the Six of Pentacles. So this Ace of Sword brings, of course, more stability into your life, more balance. And with the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, it feels like you have been a little bit anxious about something. Like, okay, how is it going to go when I meet this person? How is it going to go when I get this new boss at work? Or when I get this uh, call, this email that I've been waiting for? I think that there was this buildup of anxiety for a while. And maybe it, you know... When we feel anxious about something, of course, the body senses it. And with the Five of Pentacles, it's very connected to your body. It's like for a moment, you kind of forgot how secure you were because something was, again, very stressful. And with the Six of Pentacles, now that it's here, you can finally breathe. You're like, okay, things make sense now. I know I'm gonna have to work hard. I know that this is just the beginning, but at least I know I'm on the right path. So there's this clarity about a new path, a new beginning. Okay, I like that. I'm sorry if you have been through very stressful times in the recent past as Leos, you know, I feel like you guys don't really show that. I noticed that most of my Leo friends, and personally I have a Leo moon, so I kind of connect a lot with that energy. I found out, you know, months later that one of my best friends has a, had a very stressful thing happening in her life. And she was like, no, no, I just, you know, I kept doing my thing. I kept showing up. My head was still up and I showed up as confident as usual, but my mind was like, ooh. So this is definitely something personal that you've been through, Leo. I'm very interested to see what it, what it is. Look at that, Magician is here at the bottom of the deck and the Seven of Wands is here, one of your cards. There's something that you were willing to fight for, something that is so close to your heart. That's very interesting here. So. Notice this beautiful expansion. We have one, five, six, seven. So whatever this, again, good news, new energy, new perspective is, it is giving you back all the energy that you need to fight for what you believe in. And the seven of wands can be very uncomfortable because it speaks sometimes of difficult feelings that we don't necessarily want to feel, but we have to process them. And this is like the only card that can sometimes tap into anger, which I learned this week that anger is the only emotion that the body has to process. Whether you 
scream in a pillow, whether you bite into a clot or something, you have no choice but to process anger. Sometimes it's gonna come in tears, it's gonna come out just like ugly cry, or again, it's gonna show up in some way in your attitude and the way that you show up for other people, but this is the only emotion that we have to process that will naturally come out of the body. So it's very, very interesting that I'm seeing this here. It seems like you've been through a very serious up and down, like a roller coaster of emotion, because again, you were waiting for a validation. So this teaches you something right away. How you reacted in this period of waiting. How did you show up in your relationship? How did you let your mind impact how you feel, how you show up in the world? There's something here because the sevens in the tarot are always teaching us something about needing the validation to be okay, needing something external when actually the processing needs to happen internally. This is the biggest lessons of the sevens in the tarot. So I'm curious, I wanna know, yeah, look at that. The ups and downs, the roller coaster of emotions. So I definitely feel like as a Leo, it's been stressful to wait for something. And again, I think it faced you. It made you face sorry, fears and insecurities. And I think that you learned a lot about yourself throughout this process. And that makes you even more ready for this new beginning. We have the Eight of Swords and we have the Four of Wands. So Eight of Swords is a confirmation that you have transformed the way that your mind works. The way, again, that maybe you let your mind get in the way of something, which we all do. We're human beings. <laughs> and as Leo's, you definitely show up in a more confident way most of the times. Not all Leos are the same, of course. Um, but here, it was required of you to get vulnerable, to take the blindfold off. And to do that, to finally free yourself, you have to walk in the water. So I always say, okay, you might spend a day or two with wet socks, wet shoes, which is very uncomfortable. But you did it. You were patient and you were willing to get better at something. I really feel like whatever uncomfortable energy you've been through recently taught you so much about yourself. It shined a light on some insecurities. It shined a light on something that you want to adjust. And your willingness to adjust is a superpower. Four of Wands is at the heart of this reading, which is a very powerful, lucky energy. It is a perfect balance, which not much in life in, is perfect. Actually, nothing is perfect, but this card has a very magical energy to it. It is Venus and Aries, meaning that it is the Empress and the Emperor. So there's this perfect balance, the balance of the feminine and masculine energy, the balance of being able to take action, but also stay present. So all the qualities of the emperor, all the qualities of the empress are intertwined together in the four of wands, makes, makes, which makes you, sorry, very solid, very confident for whatever task now you have to do whatever new energy showed up in your life, you're definitely gonna make the best out of it. And there's gonna be celebration. Four of Wands is a massive card of celebration. And it's also inviting magic into your life. This is the 1111 card. So a lot of little synchronicities are gonna show up in your life, confirming, yeah, you're on the right path, Leo. You had to go through this masses this massive wave of stress and uncertainty to kind of make sure that it was really the right thing for you it, it seems like you were tested by the universe i'm going to be honest this is what it feels like to me so how have you been tested how have you 
been feeling tested maybe by other people and or again by the universe like I really want this and I'm not gonna give up but come on I need to know and you guys are very curious I feel like people overlook a lot how Leo is curious you guys are on my top top of the list for most curious people I cannot keep anything from my Leo friends absolutely not which I love I love someone who's curious, who's invested and open and just, you know, you guys want to know what's up. And I think it, it, it connects beautifully with the fact that the sun card is your card in the tarot. <laughs> we have the page of wands, we have the wheel of fortune, and we have the queen of wands. So you see, I told you, magic is showing up in your life, which magic is a huge theme right now in the month of September and this reading is for the next four to six weeks this is usually what I feel comfortable reading about um, so the page of wands is the spark of something new the initiation of something in this card is a curious energy and I was just talking about that so an 11 11 on the clock also as i'm saying that i told you there's going to be a lot of magic surrounding you and this is all your guides the universe trying to confirm you're exactly where you should be so enjoy what you have you deserve it you worked very very hard to get where you are and definitely where you're going where you're about to get which is a place that is more stable, more lucky overall, and just more exciting. It feels like you've been doing the same thing for a while and you needed this change. And the universe made you wait, but it seems like there's a specific reason why the universe made you wait. You needed, again, to learn a big lesson concerning how you react, you know, how reactive you are to things, how... Again, sometimes you need that external validation to feel complete. And there's this cut here. There's this transformation that happened here. So more independence, more confidence for you. I like that. I don't believe the Leo are too confident. I think we can all use more confidence. Um, it's all about how we show up in the world. Nine of Cups is here. So yeah, a wish. What is your wish? What is this thing that you've always wanted or that you've been working on for a very, very long time? The wheel is turning in your favor, so make sure to dream big. Make sure to stay focused on what nourishes you, what makes you feel excited. Um, the Queen of Wands invites us to nurture our fire. This fire that you have inside you, this passion that you have inside you that is very specific to Leo's in my opinion sometimes it can get very overwhelming so we just want to learn to control to nurture the fire you know that flame that never goes out the queen of one nurtures that she invites us to focus on our own magic and she definitely help us remember that we're not too much you know I'm sure that as a Leo you've heard that many times like okay calm down Leo calm down you're too invested, you're too this, you're too intense, you're too passionate, um, which is not the truth. It's a superpower, and this is going to be at the center of your life for a while. This beautiful passion of yours. Don't let anyone take that away from you, which I don't think it's possible. I don't think anyone can take that light away from you. But again, remember that you're not too much. And I feel that's probably an important message for someone out there. Whoever has been making you feel like um, you're taking too much, you're needing too much. I don't think it's true. Again, I see this beautiful balance right now in your life. And it's okay to be passionate. Doesn't mean you're crazy. Doesn't mean you're needy. It means you're passionate. And sometimes I feel like we confuse that. We feel like we are just obsessive, but we're passionate. There's a big difference between passion and obsession. 
Ten of Cups and Seven of Cups. So again, the sevens are coming through because there's always this message. You will be tested again, Leo. You will be tested to see if you remember, hey, you don't need anything external to be complete. It's not true that you need to change the way you look to achieve something. It's not true that you need um, anything outside of yourself to be exactly where you're supposed to be. I feel like there's this need here and I don't know what it is. It could be that you're looking for love and you, you might feel like you would be more valued if you were partnered up or if you had a higher position at work, if you had more money in your bank account. Maybe you've been comparing yourself to other people without even noticing it. Like, wow, okay, this person really has their shit together and I don't. Why would you compare? Because again, the Queen of Wands helps you remember what you have is very unique to you. No one can take away your magic. No one can copy your magic. It's your essence. It's, it's your soul. It's again, your fire. So don't compare your journey to other people because it seems like at the end of the road, you'll get something even better. Something that, again, only you would have dared dream so big about something in the Ten of Cups, you know, the Lord of Perfected Success. This is it. You are on the road to achieve one of the biggest success of your life. And by doing so, yeah, I think it's going to release a lot of stress, especially when it comes to this part of you that needs to achieve something to feel validated. Again, I think that you are literally transforming as you are getting closer and closer to that success. So the way you are right now, it, again, it will be transformed. And when you get to that place of success, when you get to the level of success that you've been wishing for, hoping for, you're going to enjoy all of that in such a different way because you're going to be wanting different things. You're going to be in a different place mentally, especially mentally. It feels like you're letting your ego go in the back seat a little bit. The soul, the heart is getting in the driver's seat and it feels great to do that. Again, there's a reason why the Ace of Swords is an overall gem energy here. Seriously, guys, I'm so sorry. I woke up very early this morning and that was probably the first time I spoke. So that's why my voice is so weird and I keep stumbling on my word. I really wanted to start my day with you guys. So that, you know, the Ace of Swords is a change of perspective. It is the theme of the next four to six weeks for you. And this change of perspective means a lot because, again, in the end, you will be enjoying life in such a different way. You'll be able to really celebrate and not just get to a goal and say, okay, what's next? No, you're going to be enjoying what you have. And this is going to change, switch all energies for you. And it's going to make life a lot more fun, a lot more enjoyable. And look at that. The Wheel of Fortune is here two times. I don't see the Wheel of Fortune come up uh, two times usually in readings. I think it happened one time in my career that I saw it three times and I was like traumatized. <laughs> What's happening? So the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. This means that something that has been fixed, something that's been keeping you from expanding truly is finally unlocking. You're about to unlock something magical. Again, a new path, a new perspective, literally a new era of your life, which seems like it's one of celebration, success, and again, great balance. It's not just about getting all the success. It's about how can we appreciate what we have? How can we keep pushing and working hard, but still taking the time to slow down and take care of ourselves? Again, imagine the emperor and the empress coming together. Both qualities 
which makes a great balance. And again, it can also make a power couple. So you might have someone in your life. You could be meeting someone new that adds great energy into your life, fuels you, sees you, helps you nurture this fire. And also you could be leveling up with a current partner, finally achieving this balance that feels good. It feels clear. But again, it comes after a period of uncertainty and a period of stress is what I'm sensing. Again, the body has been very impacted by your stress. So now it's like, can I slow down? Can I get more sleep? Can we finally enjoy what we have? And since the moon is here, eight of swords, again, there's a lot of heavy feelings in that reading. I think you're going to be tested time and time again. It's just a little check-in from the universe. Like, okay, how are you doing today? How is your body doing? How is your mind doing? I think that it's important to remember that everything comes in waves. So get when you get to that level of success, there's still going to be work to be done especially work around your mind, mental, physical, spiritual health, emotional health also. So the work is not over. And I think you know that. And I think you're up for the challenge. Um, but this, again, is rooted in the internal, even if it looks and sounds like it's an external thing. It's happening within you. But the change that are happening within you, the transformation are going to shine through as within, so without. And we have a time to give rather than take. So again, it's about you, how you show up in the world, how you listen to other people, how willing are you to share your story, to get vulnerable. Even when... Your number one focus is money, work, achievements, being seen, all of that. It's just there's something inside of you that wants to be adjusted, that wants to be cleared. And once that is cleared, again, there's this beautiful as within, so without energy. And I think that it feels like you're becoming a master at manifesting things in your life. Again, it all comes up with the magic and the synchronicities. If you wish for something, it's going to happen. But how can you make the road to get there, the journey to get there, a good one, a healthy one for you? Because you are goal-driven, Leo. When you get what you want, you're going to ask yourself what's next. What's next is enjoying that, cultivating that, nurturing that. Again, nurturing the fire is a very important message for you because you are a fixed fire sign. You are the light that never goes out. You are the sun. So think about that. Too much of a good thing, too much of the sun can drain you out. So how can you balance, again, the fiery energy of the, of the emperor and the rooted, nurturing energy of the empress. And that is where the change is rooted, to really manage, uh, like an alchemist, those two energy together, which is what you're on the path of doing. And you can be proud of yourself. So Leo, take exquisite care of yourself. Let me know how you connected to this reading. You know you can join me on Patreon. The link is always down below. I teach tarot there. I do live sessions. I do a weekly reading every Sunday and I talk about all the energy of the week ahead. So yeah, join me there. Come check it out. I'm sending love, guys. Bye.